Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, we're live, it's Nardi, uh, coming to you from Lights in the Attic in Camberwell. This is our daily stomping ground, love this joint. Uh, only a few steps away from the office, and uh, always have the goods for us. So we're really, really, whoop, whoop, really happy about that. Um, this is uh, the Daily Espresso, uh, short shots, big ideas, and today we're gonna smash out profit. We're gonna talk about profit. Now I've left profit for a Friday because I want you guys to uh, finish up on a high note, <laughs> not a low note. All right, profit, big one, real big. Um, you know, think about profit. Think about what it means to you. Think about, is it an end or a beginning conversation? Is it an end or a beginning thought, all right? Every, a lot of people that I meet and a lot of people I have worked for think about profit at the end, not at the start, right? Ask yourself these questions. Are you pulling profit out of sales? Or are you waiting for expenses to come out of sales and then you, you, you're left with whatever profit and only being disappointed at the end of the year? Are you budgeting your profit at the start of the year? And then again, looking for disappointment only because you're not planning it outright. So when I think of profit, I think about planning for profit, making your profit out of every sale before your expenses come along. Right? Motivate yourself to take your profit first. Remember how we spoke about cash? Take your cash, take your profit. All right? So cash and profit are two different things, but focus on your profit. So some awesome people that I've uh, spoken with before said it's revenue minus profit equal expenses. And that's a great way of thinking about it. That's a great way of, of, of taking the approach of concentrating on profit. Don't focus on the ex cutting the expenses to increase profit. Focus on taking the profit out of, your, out of your sales first and then work on the expenses after that, all right? Um, profit's always a, or, always a big one that everyone sits with us, oh, well, what's my profit margin? What's my net profit margin supposed to be? Well, ask yourself that question. What do you want your net profit margin to be? What do you want your net profit margin to be at the outset? Are you budgeting? Are you planning for it? Or are you just flying by the city of pants waiting to see what that profit figure is at the end of the year? All right. Change your mindset, change your approach, change the way you tackle it. Tackle it head on. What's profit? What's your profit going to be for the next 12 months? Right? We're coming up to June. We're coming up to the start of a financial year in July. What's your profit going to be for, for, for the 2017 year? What's your profit going to be for first quarter, July, August, September? What's your profit going to be for July? What's your profit going to be for the first week of July? All right. So if you think about it that way, then you're going to change your approach. All right, let's put in an example, an example point. All right, you turn over $50,000 a week, you want your profits to be 10% of revenue, right? You want a net profit margin of 10%. Pull five grand out, park it in a separate bank account. That's your profit locked away. You got 45,000 to allocate to expenses, knowing that you've already made your 10% profit margin, right? Now your expenses also include wages to partners, wages to owners, wages to everyone else, marketing, advertising, overheads, all the rest. But focus on your profit first. All right. Don't work the other way around. Don't go, oh, I've made 50,000, oh, my expenses were 47, I get to keep 3,000. No, you do it that way, you're gonna be disappointed, nothing's ever gonna to work to plan, and you're gonna let others determine what your profit figure is. I want you guys to determine what your profit figure is. I want you guys to take control of your profit figure, or your profit number, or your net profit margin, and I want you guys to think about how you can improve it. And a starting point is to allocate your profits first. Grab your profits, physically grab them, grab the cash, stick it in a separate bank account, that's your profit locked away, and don't touch it. That's your profit locked away. That's you, pay yourself first. We spoke about it with cash, the approach to profits, the exact same thing. That's my take on profit, guys. Have a massive weekend. Uh, we'll be coming back on Monday uh, with some awesome topics again, some big ideas. This is the Daily Espresso, these are short shots, big ideas. I'm Nadi, we've got Chris here, he's very silently, silently stepping out of the profit tour. 
I just uh, enjoying the talk. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy it. I think he's enjoying the coffee a bit more. But thanks, guys. Thanks for everyone that's joined. Thanks for all your comments. Thanks for your uh, your promotion, your sharing, your likes. Love it. It's been motivation to do more. Cheers. Have an awesome weekend and uh, keep smashing it. Cheers. <laughs>